Well, I've had an interesting day. I thought I'd share with you all. There's never a dull moment in my life. I want to start out by saying that. And I decided this morning when I woke up, because my house is clean, my life seems to be settling down. I thought, I want to get my nails done. I haven't had them done in a while. I want to feel prissy. I'm a totally different person with nails. Buddy, I text different. I run that. I get that remote going differently. I like to scratch on my husband with these nails. I'm just, I just feel like a priss pot with nails on. So I wanted some nails. So I debate on where to go. I end up at the same place I went to last time that I said I wasn't going to go to anymore because the guy was awesome. He was amazing at doing nails. Quick, fast, neat, looked great. A little expensive, and he was a little rude. But that's where I ended up, so I did it to myself. This video is about me doing something to myself and regretting my life choices. So I have to wait outside. Of course, there's several older women waiting there to get their nails done because they're passionate about nails too, and that's perfectly okay. So I had to wait pretty good time. But that's okay, because I decided to answer messages back while I'm sitting there. Worked out perfect. So I get over there, and I get my to get my nails done, and I'm not going to lie. I'm hard to understand. I'm a southern hillbilly from southern West Virginia. I got a twang. That's just who I am. Love it. Believe it. Don't care. Well, they're hard to understand as well. So there's definitely a communication barrier when you go to get your nails done. This isn't new news, okay? So, and I never quite understand. I'm just like, I want a set of nails. I just, I just want a set of nails. And of course, there's color dip, there's powder dip, there's acrylic, there's gel, there's this, there's, and you're just like, just give me some nails. Make me pretty! So, sorry, I scared my cat. Anyway, so I go to get my nails done, and it's all going well, and I'm a talker. I like to talk. They really don't talk when you get your nails done, though, and it's probably due to the communication barrier. So I'm just <laughs> getting my nails done. And so the solution goes on and I, I, I love when they're like filing your nails and they're and they're taking them and they're doing them like that and you're like, sorry, sorry. You, the whole time you're feeling like you're doing something wrong. You're feeling like a child doing the wrong thing. That's what I feel like. But I'm here to pay for a service and I did this to myself. I walked in here and asked for this treatment. So and, of course, when you jerk away or you act like they've hurt you, I mean, it's a big deal because they'll ask you, did that hurt? You're like, yeah, that hurt because, yeah. I mean, you got that Dremel going faster than Kyle Petty around a racetrack and you just went around my finger and now it's bleeding. You act like you don't even see that blood dripping off of it and you want to know if it hurt. Anyway, let's get back on the subject. So, that's, do you want square? Do you want oval? Do you want round? Do you want coffin? I said squoval. I want them square-like but kind of rounded. So we had to go through that anyway, getting our nails done. And, okay, they get the solution on. And I just go to pull my hand away after he got the acrylic on my nails. And, no, he jerks my hand back and rams it up into the light. And he's like, okay, damn, scrap my wrist. Now you made me defensive, about ready to start crying. All you had to do was just say, put it under the light like this. So while my nails are under the light like this, and I don't ever remember doing this before. I don't know. I'm just crazy, though. My The seventh gate of hell is piercing through my ring finger. Nail. Hot. Hot. I'm like, ooh, ooh. I wouldn't dare move my hand, though. Oh, hell no. I ain't moving my hand. Mm -mm, buddy, I'm here for the long haul. You put my hand here, it's going to stay here. I listen well. I mean, there's sweat beads coming off my forehead. He looks at me, and he says, is your hand hot? Yeah. So then he just pushes it down over. There's a little fan on the table and like rams it back up to the fan. I thought, buddy, grab me and ram me like that one more time. If Gary Farmer would have done that, I'd have mm -mm -mm. That's what would happen at a time. I'm going to try to be nice here, but I'm defensive now at this point. So I put, shove my hand in front of something one more time without telling me, buddy, one more time. And this is going to end badly for everybody. Gets better. So we get that done. I didn't know I was allowed to put my hand to the fan, Okay. I mean, this was serious. I mean, we're getting nails. Something that makes us prissy. But evidently, it's a serious shit up in this place. So, I'll, everything's on. They get filed. Do, 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 you know, and they, they, they rip that skin away from the side of the nail. And if you jerk a little bit, they, they look at you. Well, you just super glued my skin to my nail. So, when you rip it away, there is some pain. I'm sorry I jumped. I'm sorry I have feelings. Sorry. 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 We're back on the same page here. I'm here on my own accord. 
He just drilling, drilling, drilling. Dust flying everywhere. Dust a flying everywhere. I feel the asbestos getting up into my lungs. I need a sip of something. I'm thinking I should have drank me a bottle of wine before I come in here for this. He gets it done. He takes his little brush. What is that? That just swirls the powder around, but we ain't getting nothing done. So I take my hands and go, wrong thing to do. He, his whole expression, I mean, his face just drops off and lands down on his lap somewhere. He's like, you just ruined it. <sighs> then polish won't stick now. We'll probably have to start all over. This was all for nothing. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, at this, this point, I am about ready to start crying because I feel like I'm in trouble. All the while, I'm thinking, I'm here to pay for a service, and you trick me like you know. I jump up on here on this dude. So he gets my nail, and I mean, he's shaking his head. He's obviously pissed. He is totally put out. But, but you get paid either way, so I don't know what, what the issue is. He's a looking at my nail. He puts that polish on her, and he goes, I think it'll work. Well, shit, you, it's nail polish. My God, give me the bottle. I'll put him on there. Nail polish ain't going to stick because I brushed my hands like this and got some natural oil on my nail. I know some nail people's going to be out there watching this and be like, well, actually, well, actually, I don't care. You don't treat people like that. I'm sorry. Then you say, are you going to go back to him? Hell, yeah, I'm going to go back to him. He does a great job. My nails look amazing. He's way, it's expensive, though, because there's a communication barrier. He's asking questions, and I just want to be nice, and I'm like, yeah, and they say something like, yeah. I don't know. I yell myself right into a $65 set of nails, and I'm sitting there thinking, my entire outfit, bloomers included, didn't cost $65, but yet here we are with a fire rolling off that debit card. I know Gary of Farmers are getting the notifications wondering what the hell I'm doing. I'm going next door to the boutique as soon as I get done there because I needed some retail therapy because he had me all tore up. I'm not going to lie. He had me all tore up, but he does a great job. He's good at what he does. I'll go back. I'll stay in the torture once more and tip him again. Like I tell him. Go next door and all my dreams are made. They had this pillow on clearance next door and it says, oh, what the shit one out It says, you... If you can read this, bring me a glass of wine. Next time I get my nails done, I'm gonna do. No, I'm not, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna strap this to my chest and wear it every single day of my life. So after I got done there, I went out to the Target, and of course there's a Starbucks in every Target in the world now. And I don't like pumpkin flavored things, I really don't. But I had the fall vibe going on, and I purchased some fall Halloween stuff. Um, at the Target, so I had to shimmy on over to the Starbucks, and I was like, let me try that pumpkin cold brew. I always get cold brew at Starbucks, always, and it's only 80 calories. I didn't know until she was deep into making this, it was 250 calories. I probably would have backed out of it, but we was too far gone. Even when she spilled it on the counter, I mean, I just, can we slurp that off there for you? But it's delicious, and I did have a hoodie on because the mornings here are pretty chilly, but then all of a sudden, something happens. Satan stokes up the fire, and before you know it, you're sweating your balls off. I had boob sweat. I was walking out to that Target parking lot carrying my little bag with my cat treats and my Halloween tree and my little pumpkin cold brew, feeling all fallsy. And I was totally over the nail of the incident. We're all good now. I could have made this. I, 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 I could have got a lot hairier with this, but I decided to bring it in. <laughs> 